Spotify just spending money left and right now. No. They picked up a new podcast, no, guys, and not, guess who it, was, it was, uh, wasn't? It has to be ours, yeah? It was not Impulsive. It was not Logan Paul. This time they thought this little woman was such a good renegator, they picked up an Addison Ray podcast. Oof. Addison Ray, TikToker extraordinaire, and her mom, Addison. Sherry Nicole, uh, have a podcast now purchased by Spotify. And, uh, What's and it called? Mama Knows Best. Mama, mm. Oh, it's with her and her mother. Mama Knows Best. Oh, that's which, cool. With Sherry Nicole. I like that. Is yeah. She, do, do they say how much it was acquired for? I'm sure it was it was much more than ours was acquired for, just because ours wasn't acquired. Yeah. So oh. it's safe safe to assume that they got paid more. But realistically, is I'm, it I'm one dollar per TikTok follower? I, all right. So <laughs> do you really do you want to know? Yeah. You know. I, first of all, I don't even know if it was an acquisition. I, it could have just been. I, I, can, I can get this information. But Spotify is trying to become like a a what is it called? The not like a major label of sorts, right? They're for podcasts, allowing people yeah. for everything. They're allowing people to upload their own music. You're allowed to. Like use them as the distributor now. Yeah, they're which really is pretty interesting. Yeah, they're really innovating in a mm -hmm. lot of ways. So, I, I bet soon they're going to be competing with YouTube. I so it's be a, oh as, as soon as they integrate video, that's a wrap. Oh, it's over. Par Parcast, which I guess is is Brad. Is Parcast like the the company that does these things? They've got a, a bunch of shows under this label, Serial Killers Horoscope. Today, <laughs> I, I don't have an answer for you. My assumption is. Spotify treats this one more as a risk than a guaranteed reward like Rogan's was. Yeah. And they probably have either offered or just add revenue on the back on the back end when that comes in or whatever. But I I'll I'll, t I'll tell you two reasons why this is uh risky. interesting and will be and will be fun to follow. A, um, just like any format, just like anything in the world, it's rare that you just hop in and you're good at it. Oh, like yeah. if you go back and watch the first episode of Impulsive. We were pretty. We were pretty dry. We kind of sucked. I wasn't. I wasn't you, dry. I was wet. Yeah. I was soaked in sweat <laughs> and having a fucking panic attack the it, entire time. It, it was horrifying. Um, but you know, two hundred and one. Holy shit! Two hundred one episode. Two hundred one right now. Crazy. Podcast later, we're actually like somewhat comfortable and good at it. Having her just thrown into the podcast world. I don't know Addison uh, personally, or or even publicly. I don't know how well she is of an orator, or a speaker, or a storyteller. But it'll be interesting to watch how she translates from renegating to speaking renegade, a, a long term. Renegade. Also, I mean, also, um, I, I I actually just forgot the second one. That's all right. Yeah. She's super. Listen, she's super bubbly. She's a bubbly super, girl. super bubbly. We've we've hung out with her enough times to know that she's got that charisma. She's got the charisma gene. Her mom's seems pretty cool too. She does all the uh, dances in the background. I think of, it'll probably uh, set a, like a good example for mothers and daughters to have open communication, right? Oh, that's cool. Is that, oh. is that what it's? It's a mother daughter podcast. How many times do mothers and daughters talk or not talk? It will. Uh, I think the success will be dependent on how open they're willing to get. Yeah, absolutely. Because I'm interested in what you just said. I'm really interested into open conversations between a mother and a daughter. Yeah. Why don't you yeah. get uh, your dad? Dude, daddy knows best. Daddy knows best. <laughs> yeah, but but uh, it, like like you said, it's it's all going to come down to the to the metrics for success on podcasts. Like, listen, like uh, it's not as easy as we make it seem. Because we've done so many episodes. It's <laughs> easy as we make it. Say, we started this podcast by hitting me in the eye with your cord, facts. Bro. <laughs> facts. Let me revert on that. No, but it's not. It's not easy. It, it's all about uh, uh, the the ability to cover multiple topics, be knowledgeable on multiple topics, as well as have chemistry with your with your with your not only your guests but also your your co-hosts. And obviously, she's going to have a level of inherent built in chemistry with her own mother, who she already creates content with. So that's yeah. a good look. And but producers this shit, from this shit's Spotify not easy. are they like are they under Spotify? Are they going to provide producers and production? Probably, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, then how could it not take off? Because I also tell you the second thing that I just remembered. All right, here's the big one. Here's the big one. Hmm. The demo. Oh, that's not a podcast oh. demo by any. Not they even got, fucking close. They got ten seconds of attention. <laughs> ten seconds, and if you don't hit the wall in that ten seconds, they're fucking the rap, gone. The rap. Oh. So, so, that's no, a no, good. No, that is a good how, point. How, what do you think Addison's demo is? Ages seven to 13, eight, 16, yeah, 12, 12 16, to fifteen, probably. I would say how many seven to sixteen year olds are willing to s sit down and uh, Brad's give me the neck? No, no bro, shot. Not, no, no shot. fucking not many. Shot. When I was back home, when I was back home, uh, a lot of my family friends are like between those ages, right? They're probably twelve to eighteen, nineteen, maybe even twenty. Yeah. Um, and my brother who's sixteen has been listening to podcasts for two years. So I, if I can extrapolate on that, they seem to all have interest in online personalities. Why would they not 
take to the podcast format, which is a format that everyone seems to love these days when you're walking or working out or doing whatever it is. Why? The ages you mentioned were a little, were older, right? 18, but it, I mean, 12 to 20 was kind of that age range. That's a big gap. Well, sure. also, also Addison could, Addison could literally create a behavioral shift in, in generation Z. Facts. Like, like yeah. I, I'd like to believe that, uh, we did this maybe a little bit with our podcast, not just us, but like, uh, Dobrik did a podcast and it was not so Tiny common. gang. Yeah. It's not so common for, for YouTubers and kids between the ages of 18 and 24, or it wasn't to be listening to long form audio. Yeah. So if Addison does a podcast and it slaps and she has really good stimulating, interesting conversation with her mother in, you know, 10 year olds start, uh, learning about things a little earlier than they would have if they hadn't listened to someone yeah. who they looked up to. Hey, I mean, I wish her the best of luck. Yeah, and, oh, same, and, uh, of course. Like, and, 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 look at that and, smile. Look at that golden smile. She's great. And, and, destined for success, that woman. Doesn't doesn't uh, respond to us anymore. Um, Do, I, I, I have a, I have a, I, I'm just going to say this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we were looking for a guest uh, for Podcast 200. Frantically. Frantically. And <laughs> you gave me the green light for the Addison DM. Yeah. You know, we wanted to be a TikTok 200. <laughs> yeah. So I okay. shot her the message, dude. I DM'd Addison. And I was like, hey, you know, to episode 200, we'd love to have you on. You know? And if not now, in the future. <laughs> <laughs> and then James was over here uh, jocking our Wi-Fi. And I was looking at him. I was like, he'd probably be a pretty good 200 guest. And I bet I could secure that guaranteed right now. <laughs> and so I asked him and he said Yes. And I was like, well, fuck, now if Addison says yes, we got a big problem. So I unsent the DM. What the I unsent uh, it. Okay, so I that makes fucking sense. Unsent but just it. but just so everybody watching knows, like I I I had ongoing communication with her prior to, you know, her massive boom. And I you know, I wandered on the night shift and we we were texting and DMing just all for for content and now I, I I can't get a text back, Addison. Like I get it. Dude. You're you're <laughs> you're on fucking on Jupiter now, and uh, I'm just a Loser pot. I don't fucking know, dude. But a loser pot. A loser pot. But uh <laughs> but uh yeah. Good luck, Addison. Good luck to you and your mom on this uh on this righteous voyage into the seas of, of the podcast world. Yep, we'll be listening. We'll be mm -hmm. listening.